hi and thanks so much for joining me today we are featuring the new Guerlain holiday collection if you'd like to see that please keep watching now, I did pick up some but not all of the products but I picked up the meteorites I also picked up the bronzer I love Guerlain bronzers and I also picked up one of the mad eyes eyeshadow sticks so we're gonna do some close-ups swatches and a demo so let's get started my order just arrived from Selfridges We have the Mad Eyes Contrast Shadow Duo. Really interested to try this. And I picked up the bronzer and the meteorites. It says on the side, medium warm, limited edition. The case looks very similar to the other bronzers that I've picked up from Guerlain. Of course, that is really beautiful. This is going to be one of those difficult to use palettes because it's so pretty. So it looks like there's a, an overspray of a metallic gold shade on top of that bronzer. So we'll just use the brush once we get in there to see how that works together. Here's a swatch of the bronzer. And if you are a warm bronzer fan, you will most likely like this. I already love Guerlain bronzers, but of course we'll see what it looks like on as well. Then we have the meteorites. Here's a close-up of the packaging. It's got a little bit of meteorites dust on there, I think. Ooh, there's a little protective cover on there, a little like foamy protector. Well, oh, that's beautiful. I think there's more silver than I thought there would be though. So we'll have to see what this looks like on. Just have that very distinct fragrance. Kind of like violet candies. I'm not sure I can swatch this, but I'll try. I feel like these meteorites are really hard to swatch. You can see it's going to have a cool tone to it, I think. I don't know, we're gonna have to see what this looks like on, but that is my initial swatch. And here are all of the shades together. Let's do a quick base. Chantecaille's Anti-Pollution Mattifying Cream. I'm just going to apply that to the areas right here because Sometimes the meteorites can emphasize texture for me, so I want to see how smooth we can get this texture before I add on the meteorites. I'm going to go in with my Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion Foundations because these do provide the smoothest kind of finish for me. So I'm going to take my Shiseido brush. I've got the shade Nude here. I'm going to start with that first, um, just for the middle parts of my face right here. And then we're gonna go in with wheat on the exterior. Then let's go in with the Sisley Under Eye Concealer in the shade four. I get a lot of questions about this brush. It is the brush that goes with the Sublimage Le Sens de Temps Foundation by Chanel. So I love this for concealers. Now I put on the foundation as concealer in the past, but let's go in with the clay de peau just so you can see what that looks like on top. We've got honey and tan. You can see the difference. I'm oh, sorry, mocha, not tan. Honey and mocha. So let's go in with honey first, just so we can kind of get a gauge on where we are. This might be good, we'll see. Actually, honey worked really well today uh, with that foundation. Okay, usually I will just go in with the foundation to use as a concealer, so that was interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Real Skin. Just a light layer because I am going to use that cream eyeshadow stick. I just wanna even out the skin tone first though because you can see a little bit red, a little bit deeper. So just a thin layer. La Prairie, just to brighten that one little spot right here. So the powder that's going to be the best for me underneath something like the meteorites is a very smoothing powder. So 
Chantecaille's Perfect Blur Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm gonna just let this be a little bit lighter now so we can see what that bronzer looks like on the forehead area. I'm just gonna powder everything today so we have a consistent application on that bronzer. Okay, eyebrows. Look how short my Gucci pencil is. It's so short, I need a new one. This is the Gucci eyebrow pencil in the shade. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I can't remember, but I think it's like brown or dark or something like that. Someone asked for a brow tutorial. This is really all I do. I just kind of establish that line below, fill in, go across, and then do a tail like that. So I don't know. Let me know what more you would like to see because I think I keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna go in with something different, not different. I just remembered I had it, the Dior Show Pumpin' Brow. So um, any brow gel that you like. Uh, this has a stronger hold versus something like the Chantecaille or even, um, what's another one that I use? I've been using the Chantecaille lately. Suku is a clear one that I use. Yeah, really nice hold on this one though. So that's really it for brows. Let's go in with the Guerlain Matte Eyes now. I love eyeshadow sticks and I had a video that I think a lot of you came over because of. I had reviewed all these eyeshadow sticks that I use because they're so easy to use, but I feel like companies don't really make them that often. so. Whenever they do, I try and pick them up. But this is the one with two shades, of course, two shades. So we have a shade here in actually a deep plum. I thought it was going to be a dark brown, but it's a deep plum, which I'm excited about. And then this is a gold shade. I think it, they say it's a, um, a shiny gold. Is that what it says? Shine, yeah, shiny gold. The labels are here. I can barely read this one, but this one's a little bit easier. The contrast is better. Okay, let's go on with the shiny gold first and see how that looks by itself. going to use my clean hands here to kind of even that all out. Okay, shiny gold is pretty much like my skin tone because I think you can barely see it. It just brightens a little bit, which is fine. I think if it's a subtle look you're going for, it just does a nice job of subtly, subtly brightening because you can see the difference. It has a peach tone to it. Nothing too sparkly in here, which I like. So I'm actually going to go under the eye with this and see how that works. Maybe cancel out some of this red. Usually I'll conceal down there, but I know if you don't want it to gather, then don't conceal, but I have some redness. So this might work as a little bit of a color canceler for me. Let's go in the waterline too. Pretty, I like this one actually. I like this shade a lot. Lovely, let's go in with the other side now. It's always a little tricky, this side, because I haven't used it before, so I'm not sure how quickly this will set. I think the other one I used set pretty quickly, but let's try. I'm just gonna go on the outside here. Just kind of make like a wing type shape. And I'm gonna use my clean hands. Yeah, it sits pretty quick, sets pretty quickly. Yeah, you definitely have to work fast. So what's a little tricky here is there is no like middle shade to kind of mesh the two together. There's a pretty distinct line. So I'm gonna see once that sets a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this shade, but let's go in with the deeper shade underneath just a little bit first. Okay, that's really pretty. Easy to use, except you have to move fast. So you just wanna be careful with this deeper shade that it doesn't get away from you before you can put it where you want it because it's gonna set. So maybe just start out with a little first. I'm gonna go above just slightly and see what happens. Yeah, 
Yeah, at this point I'm not drawing, I'm like donning it on and then moving the product because I don't want it to be too heavy because I feel like it's gonna be too hard to work with. So that is possible, but maybe like just dot it on. So I'm trying to do right here, I don't know if you can tell, the crease area. You can kind of hear when it hasn't set yet, it's like it still sticks a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and use this though just to kind of do as an in-between color between these two shades. That's a really pretty combination. I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, I've done both eyes. Looks a little unbalanced, but I'm gonna put mascara on and see how that looks. And then let's see how it looks. All right, I went in with the Chantecaille mascara. I looked for the Rodeo because I'm trying to really test that out. I cannot find it. <laughs> I'm sure it's here somewhere. But one thing I did notice about that Rodeal brush is that I end up brushing my eyelids at the same time because it's a little bit of a fluffier kind of applicator. Um, so I think I have a video somewhere where there's like a little bit of mascara. Um, so today we went in with the Chantecaille Fossil Longest Lash Mascara, my favorite. But that Rodeal is quite impressive. That's why I wanna keep testing it. Okay, let's go in next with the bronzer. We've got the bronzer here. And as I said, this pattern is beautiful. It makes it so difficult to use the product because I don't wanna mess it up, but we're gonna have to go in. So I already took pictures of it, did close-ups of it. So now we have to just use this. We're gonna go in with a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush. So I'm gonna, oh yeah. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's definitely ornamental, decorative, goes away quickly. So let's just go in and see what the shade is like. Okay, that's really pretty. I love that. I love this, I love this. This is my favorite kind of bronzer. I love Guerlain bronzers anyway, so I'm not surprised. Let's go on the forehead. Yeah, Guerlain bronzers are my favorite just because the tone is so warm. So you have to like warm blushes. If you, did I say blush bronzers? You have to like this tone. It's a little bit, I'm gonna say orangey, but that's not a bad thing for me. Um, Sometimes bronzers are too red, sometimes they're too cool, almost like a contour, but this is definitely like a bronzer for me. That's really pretty, I love that. And I'm not really getting any of the gold from it. Um, I'm not seeing anything shimmery in there. Yeah, happy to have another Guerlain bronzer in my life. I think these are amongst my favorite bronzers. Kind of reminds me of the Sizzly bronzer, but not shimmery, so let me actually Pull that out because I've got a grubba blush anyway, so let me just swatch up for you really quickly. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's nice and smooth. Very even application. This is a winner for me, this bronzer, even though that was a really fast application. For me, bronzer should be fast and shouldn't take too long and look beautiful. Okay, so let me pull that Sizzly bronzer just to compare the tones. So this is reminding me a lot of that. Um, minus the shimmer, but let me get a blush as well, and then we'll go in with the meteorites. I found a blush, but let's look at the, uh, this is the bronzer I'm talking about. So let's look at them. Oh, okay, they don't look exactly the same, but let's swatch really fast. Okay, so if this tells you, this is the eye, um, the eye product. I washed it off already and it's not moving, so definitely doesn't move. Ooh, so the Guerlain even is warmer than the Sizzly, okay. So this is a Sizzly, and this is a Guerlain. So that is a difference, in case you're wondering. But they do remind me of each other. Seems like there's a little bit more red in the Sizzly. Going in here with an Hermes blush. I love this, but I just haven't used it as much. This is Rose Pomet. Yeah, I didn't pick up the highlighter, it looked beautiful, but it, let me know if you think I should pick it up. It looked beautiful, but I don't wear highlighter. Well, not that I never wear highlighter. I just don't wear it as much as everything else, so I felt like I wouldn't use that. Do a little bit more powdering. Yeah, I think the uh, Clay de Poe Honey worked out really well today. Okay, let me do a little bit of concealing next to the eye here. Clean that up. Okay, let's try out those meteorites. Okay, um, they look kind of silvery 
on swatch. Like I thought there was going to be more gold, which is what I was excited about. I thought there'd be more gold and, um, what am I saying, trying to say? And like the brownish tones, but it almost looks more silvery, like a white gold and a little bit of like this color, which is a, like a rose gold. We'll do half so you can see. I've got my La Mer, the powder brush. Okay, let me see. I feel like this is one of the ones where I might take some out because I like to customize that way, but let's see the original. So I'm gonna just dust this on. I'm not even looking in the mirror, so let me see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, meteorites have the tendency to bring out my pores in the front, so that's why I usually stay away from there, but I thought I'd just put this on so you can see, but it does have a very ethereal glow. Okay, so here's without, and here's with. Without, with. So it is more of a glow. It's not so silvery as I thought it would be, um, but it definitely glows. It is a cooler uh, kind of glow than what I thought it would be. I thought it would be warmer. So let's experiment. I'm gonna take some of them out. So let's see, where can I put them? Put them in here. So I'm gonna put back some colors, like this rose gold is going in, and then I'm gonna put back this gold shade. So anything that's like brownish or gold is going back in. So I just wanna see if this will make a difference. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've taken these out and I've left these in. So that's kind of how I divided them. So now let's see what this looks like. Oh, that actually added a little bit of color, didn't it? So here's the side with those, with these taken out. And then there's, actually, I think I do like it with them in there. So as much as I feel like this looks nice, I actually like this side better. Oh, that's really interesting. So let me put them back. Let me kind of mix them up a little so they're mixed up a little better. So that's surprising that I would like um, this with everything in there. Interesting. Okay, maybe I just will put them a little bit further down. So we'll have these on the top. Okay, now I'm gonna end up really glowing. So let's take this again. Let's go on the exterior this time. That's pretty, but one thing I am gonna do, actually, so if you wanna do this overall glow but take down just a certain part, like this for me, I'm gonna take my Perfect Blur Powder and just apply right here because it's a little too much of a glow for me, so right here. And then I can have the glow everywhere else, which I think is really pretty. I actually like that one, I'm surprised. Yeah, I liked that it kind of brightened my complexion. Okay, let's go in with the lip that I used once recently, but I'm gonna use it again because I think it's so pretty. We're gonna go with the Sizzly Rouge Capri. Okay, one thing I wanna try before we talk about the products is, I noticed it's like a little, I don't know, I feel like we need something up here, so I'm gonna use this color, this bronzer, as a crease color. So let's see. Let's find a brush, any brush. <laughs> in the crease. I feel like that's the trick with these uh, eyeshadow sticks, depending on if you want a crease color or not, is this area. But I am really pleased with the, I, well, let me talk about it in a little bit, but so far, very pleased with that. Oh, this is a really nice crease color. Nice. Let me know if you want me to rank my uh, holiday not palettes, holiday collection items so far. There are definitely some standout products, I think. Quite easy to work with as well. Let's quickly review these products. This eyeshadow stick is beautiful. It just is not the easiest to work with, so you've gotta work fast. I'd be really careful um, in the crease area because if you want to add it there, I would dot it on kind of like I did because once this sets, it sets, so it's not gonna move. So just make sure that you are very careful with this. If you use that deeper color and you're not used to these kinds of eyeshadow sticks, yeah, compared to some of the other ones I've tried, like by Laura Mercier or Bobbi Brown, these 
set quickly. Yeah, the other one I had, the other Mad Eyes set quickly as well. That's my recollection. So I love the color combination though. It's like a warm gold. It's actually my skin tone pretty much, but with a little bit of a satin kind of finish. And then I loved this deep plum color. It's so pretty together. So if you're used to these, I think you'll get along really well with it. Uh, really pretty combination, but maybe not the easiest to use. So just know that if you purchase this, but worked really well in the waterline too. Let me just check. That beautiful goldish color is really pretty in the waterline. Nice and subtle, cancels out the redness. And I have a feeling, oops, almost dropped it. I have a feeling um, it's gonna stay put because again, washing my arm here with soap, it didn't remove it. So I do recommend this for people who are used to working with eyeshadow sticks who like this uh, color combination because I think it's really pretty. But if you're a beginner, maybe that's not the best one to start with because you might get frustrated quickly just because it's set so fast. Um, then going in with the bronzer, where is it? This bronzer, I love this bronzer. Might be my new favorite bronzer. It's so pretty, I love the tone, but you've gotta love that warmth, like a hint of an orange tone, which doesn't sound great, but I think if you have warm skin tones, it will look beautiful on your skin. So love this. And I love the finish of it, even though that gold um, came off of there, that's okay, because sometimes you don't want a whole lot of shimmer. Yeah, there's a little bit of something in there. I'm just trying to check the finish for you. Let me get my flashlight here. Okay, there's a very slight satiny kind of finish on here. Very, 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 like the slightest amount of glow you can get. It's more like a skin-like kind of glow versus anything detectable in terms of shimmer. There's nothing detectable in terms of shimmer on here. It's very subtle. I love this bronzer. That was definitely a quick, quick winner for me. And then this, the meteorites. I don't completely love meteorites. That's why I don't use them that often because they can emphasize pores for me. I have to blend two of the shades, like the deeper shade is a golden and the one below that, I have to kind of customize that. But this one I think is one that actually worked for me really quite well, even though it's got a lot of these, these tones in there, which I was surprised worked. Um, but I love the ethereal effect on there. I don't love it on my pores, I never have. Um, but going in with that blur powder, I think works really well. But you can see that it does have a lovely ethereal glow, which I've seen in like a lower light situations, like an evening event. These look really pretty. Actually, I could tell when people are wearing it, but it is a pretty glow, especially by something like candlelight or something like low light, I think is really beautiful. So I actually really loved this as well. So all around, I love the things that I picked up. I will definitely use this eyeshadow stick. Loved that. Love the bronzer, so happy I picked that up. So if you are a Guerlain bronzer fan, make sure to pick up the bronzer. And then this, if you have like a, not sure about the meteorites, this one actually is one I think I might pull for. Yeah, I think it's so pretty. So, so let me know what you think of this collection. I think they did a really lovely job. It's nice and curated. I feel like those are the ones that tend to have really beautiful products is when they don't offer too many products. Um, but really pleased with all of them. So in rank order of how much I think I'll use these, I think I'll use this the most. Then after that, I probably would use this the most. I think it's so pretty. I love eyeshadow sticks, as you know. And then this, even though this is the last thing that I will use the most, I will definitely be using this, especially during the holiday season. Let me know if you're interested in these products or if you have them, what you think of them. I'd love to know, but that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.